Hey everybody, welcome back. Here today to look at the new NVIDIA app that's just been released. There's a new update and really brings some interesting things, including one-click GPU overclocking. And that's the really interesting part about this new update. But let's look at the app all together and see what we get here. This is in beta, and that's worth noting. I've been using it for about six months now and i think it's fantastic they they've been adding features and eventually what this is going to do is be a replacement for not only geforce experience but also nvidia control panel as well so it's going to integrate both of those two apps or programs into one so you've got the driver information here where you can see what driver you have download new drivers Game ready drivers, studio drivers. It's also got the information about what the new driver has fixed, what's been changed, any games that it's been optimized for. And if you want, you just click here on learn more and it brings you to the page which shows you all the information about the driver. One click install for drivers, very, very easy to use. And here we've got the graphics settings and what it does, it'll scan your PC for any programs that you can use the app with or use the app to optimize. Click on Microsoft Flight Simulator. It shows you all your current values and then it will show you also what the recommended values are, the optimal values. It's not showing them for me right now as I haven't scanned this since I reinstalled the app or updated the app. But in the past, the suggested settings that GeForce Experience would give you were really pretty terrible. I mean, it would very much under-recommend. In other words, it would recommend settings that were way, way lower than I was using. The NVIDIA app, on the other hand, the first time I checked the recommended values, they were actually very, very close to what I was actually using. I think I only had maybe two or three settings out of all the different game settings that were different than the ones that the NVIDIA app was recommending. And even those were only different by a little bit. So I think these automatic tuning, these recommended values have gotten a whole lot better. I have chosen not to optimize them. And the reason is because I'm very satisfied with what I have. But if you're having trouble getting your settings the way you want them and having trouble with the sim, I think it's absolutely worth taking a look at these and maybe using the recommended values. What you can do is write down the values that you have, write down the settings that you're using, and then use the optimized settings or change to the optimized settings and see how it works. If you don't like it, you can always go back. You can see you've got the individual program settings. You've also got the global settings. This includes DSR factors, which I use in my Holy Grail settings. One thing to remember, the DSR smoothness here at the bottom is not smoothness, it's sharpness. I don't know why they call it smoothness, but it's actually sharpness. The default value is 33%. I have found that 60% is much better, at least for me. And it's got different things like image scaling, low latency mode, max frame rate. You can set, you can limit your frame rate here, whether your monitor is G-Sync compatible, power management mode, they do have a maximum performance power management mode. I would recommend staying on the default normal mode. Shader cache size, I've got a ton of disk space, so I just set mine to unlimited. VSync on and virtual reality, I don't, I don't have, so I don't need to worry about that setting. And then if you come to the system tab here, see an overview of your system. And this is what we're looking for right here. This under performance, is where you can optimize your GPU. And we'll come back to that shortly. You, you've got your display settings here as well. If you've got multiple monitors, I do not. And here under video, if you've got an RTX graphics card, it's got video super resolution, which affects playback of videos and the high dynamic range HDR. You have to have an HDR monitor in, in, able, in order to be able to use this. I don't, so I don't use that. Then down here, you've got the settings, NVIDIA overlay, game filters. I choose not to automatically download the drivers. I do it myself. And here's where you can scan for new games and apps. You can also come here and scan locations and set 
where you want the app to scan to look for games, look for programs that you might wanna use this app with. And check your notifications. I have a driver update notification. I don't care about NVIDIA rewards. And then one of the important things to also select if you want to, I've got early access, I've opted into that because I do wanna receive access to the early builds because I want the features as soon as they come out. If you're not as experimental as I am, then you might not wanna do that. So here are the release notes for the updated NVIDIA app beta. Some interesting things that we really wanna take note of, one of which is this one. Automatic tuning will not damage your GPU or invalidate its warranty. And that's really, really important. So in other words, if you go into the app, if you wanna use the app to do this automatic overclocking, doing that will not damage, they guarantee you it will not damage your GPU and it will not invalidate its warranty. Some of the overclocking that people do on their own can invalidate the warranty. There's nothing like that to worry about when using the NVIDIA app. Another thing that's important to note, when you do this one-click GPU tuning, it's gonna take between 10 and 20 minutes to do, and it says during which time we recommend letting your system idle. In other words, don't be using anything else. Close out of your browsers, close out of any other programs, and only have the NVIDIA app running, otherwise results may be affected. So here we are back in the app. I am going to now do this automatic tuning, just come here again to the system performance tab and just click this. So one last thing to note, when you're doing the automatic tuning, when you come here and click on this to start the process, you're gonna get a warning. And it's gonna say that tuning your GPU or changing performance limits may cause your PC to show visual artifacts. Your PC may become unstable. Overclocking can make your PC unstable, can cause crashes. The great thing about this is, if you have any problems whatsoever, once you've used this automatic tuning, just come back here and click restore. It sets it right back to your original values, your, your stock settings, and you're good to go. So there's nothing permanent that can happen to your GPU by doing this. And if you've got any problems, you can just restore your old settings very, very quickly. So now I'm gonna go through the process and see what I get. So the process is now run. This is my result right here. GPU tuning plus 82 megahertz, VRAM tuning plus 200. And you can expect a conservative overclock, I think is the way you, you would wanna put it. But at the same time, it's gonna give you the ideal performance that you can get out of your GPU without having to manually tune, then benchmark, then tune some more, then benchmark again, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Saves you a ton of time. I think this is a really good option. I'm generally not somebody who overclocks because I feel like once I start going down that rabbit hole, it's very, very difficult to decide when to stop. It's difficult to, it seems like different people have different experiences, different results, tweaking different things, and it's just not for me. This type of thing, just to give me whatever boost I can get in performance with nothing to worry about and nothing to do, is a win. That's it so far for the new NVIDIA app. I think it's uh, starting to mature, starting to really come into its own, and I would recommend giving it a try. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below, and I hope everybody's having a great day.